Our big story tonight, a bad romance warning. With Valentine's Day tomorrow, many are still looking for love. But if you're flirting in cyberspace, Alexandra Lewis is live with advice about who to avoid. Well, a few months back, we sat down with this local woman who had an absolutely unbelievable story to tell. Hers was a tale of caution, an open heart, and a con artist who took full advantage. All the things a woman likes to hear. You know, we all want to hear that we're beautiful and we're special. This woman, we'll call her Patty, recalls the time she fell deeply in love with a Match.com prospect. Patty describes three months of bliss. There were daily emails, sometimes more than once a day. Um, texting, I have over 500 texts that I received from him in the time that we were, quote, dating. But Patty's trip to Cloud9 was a short one, as her lover started asking, then demanding money. I sent a total of 16 thousand dollars to this gentleman I never met. Patty's story is more common than you might think. Since 2013, 90 people in Ohio have been scammed by internet love. In the last year, five of those unsuspecting women were from our area. Attorney General DeWine says the story is always the same. There was an accident on the rig and a worker got killed. Um, he was going to be responsible for all the medical bills. I was hooked. So I sent him $10,000. Within a, another week and a half, he's asking, oh, we still don't have enough money. We still need more. Can't you give any more? Um, I coughed up another $3,000. Believe it or not, Patty's $16,000 loss ranks relatively low. DeWine says the average reported loss in Ohio is about $22,000. The highest reported losses are hundreds of thousand dollars. And these victims aren't uneducated or irresponsible people. They're simply lonely hearts desperate for love. I have a doctorate. I'm a career person. But I was sucked into the believing that this person thought I was special. To make sure you have a very happy Valentine's Day, we've got some tips for you if you are looking for love online. You want to research your online interest by doing Google searches, even consider getting a background check. Also, be very skeptical of any requests for money. And the bottom line is here is don't ever, ever give money to someone you've never met before. Reporting live here in Dayton tonight, Alexandra Lewis, Fox 45 News.